That's good. Yeah. I can go more that direction if we need to. This direction? Yeah. That way more. Can you move it down? Left. Left, yes. Uh, my, I'm going to switch here. Okay, I need, I need room on the left. Are you going to serve by end? I'm in. I'm in. Soft, yeah. Yeah. Right. You guys good? Yeah. 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 Woo! Can we slide this way at all, you guys? Um, we're here doing this action so that one, Chevron knows they'll be held accountable for their stealing of Iraqi oil, but two, so that every person in those cars knows that they can resist, that they can resist, that they can stand up, that they can say no to the war and stop the war. And here, we're here for them as much as we are for them. Tom. And what are you doing out here today, Tom? I'm here on the fourth anniversary of the war in Iraq and to protest the continuing war for oil that Chevron is profiting from. Uh, just that I'm terrified of having children in a world where Chevron is not held accountable. So for future generations, this is a fight that we need to fight. Chevron, uh, this corporation, which is world headquarters is right behind us, is uh, is is profiting from the fueling of both the oil wars in Iraq and the rest of the Middle East, and from global climate chaos. Well, you know, it's the fourth anniversary of the war in Iraq, and I just couldn't stand one more day of silently supporting this uh, reckless destruction of life with a needless oil war and with the perpetration of the destruction of our climate, which is our life-sustaining force. Estamos aquí esta mañana uh, primero porque es el cuarto aniversario de la guerra ilegal en Irak y estamos en, a, en el sitio de la empresa Chevron porque es una petrolera que está robando el petróleo de Irak y la guerra en ir Irak pensamos es en gran parte para robarles de su petróleo. Tenemos la obligación de hacer algo. Hemos marchado, hemos escrito a nuestros senadores, hemos hecho todo dentro de la ley y ahora después de cuatro años de guerra es, es hora para, para hacer una acción más fuerte. There are people like our soldiers who are being, have their bodies on the line for Chevron and we want to support them. This country is spending billions of dollars of war which is going to profit Chevron. I think this war is a giant subsidy for Chevron, and I am pissed off that we are killing people and using our tax dollars, mortgaging our future, and causing climate change so that Chevron can make $17 billion of profits in one year. Well, I've had enough of 
the corporations determining who lives and dies and what happens in our country. It's time for democracy to come back and for the people to decide the important issues. The main reason that we're here is that um, the Federation of Iraqi Trade Unions and a coalition of parliamentarians have asked for international solidarity and help of uh, people to oppose the Iraqi oil law and the corporations that are going to profit from it. So um, the reason that we're here is because we're leveraging our power and our privilege from being in the United States to um, affect change here to give people some breathing room so that they can uh, organize more in Iraq. Uh, I'm here to protest Chevron's complicity in driving us to war for oil uh, in Iraq and its attempt to steal Iraq's oil and it's using 140,000 American soldiers now to take the oil but over a million uh, US soldiers between Iraq and Afghanistan so that they can uh, line their pockets with 17 billion dollars in profits.